What is getting pretty good? The University of Washington's Stuart Sim had everything going for him here in Seattle. I've still got my favorite University of Washington hat. But he put his Northwest life on pause for a dream of Olympic gold. That chance to compete. As a collegiate champion and third generation coxswain. Definitely part of the family. Stewart was in the habit of leading his rowing teammates to victory. I've got, you know, eight pretty big engines in front of me. You've got momentum. I'm the guy steering the boat. I want strike, man. And I'm trying to keep them in rhythm. 10, now. I'm a competitor and it's a great outlet for me to compete. After graduating, he helped lead a startup to success in the booming cannabis technology industry, working with Seattle entrepreneur Howard Lee. Hi, Howard. But when his native Australian Olympic team came calling in 2019, Okay, I'm feeling like I'm ready to make a big life choice here. Stewart headed down under to train for the 2020 Summer Games. I left my life in Seattle. This has been something that's been widely speculated about. You know the rest of that story. It's a one year delay for the Olympics. I made the team pretty much the week before COVID really shut down. Australia and the US to, to some degree in, in March of 2020. He chose to stay put in Australia and focus on 2021. It was definitely a, a tough mind situation. With lockdowns disrupting training and canceling competitions, the past year has taken its toll on Team Australia. The Australian team hasn't raced since 2019. And there are people who made the team then, who then came back this year and are now not going to the Olympics because they were good enough last year and they were not good enough this year. And that was after eight years of training. I do know that I'm not at my best now. And um, that's, that's probably the, the scariest thing. Stewart and his teammates are playing catch up, relying on experience and instinct. Ready or not, a dream deferred is finally coming true in Tokyo. And we're honestly just super grateful that, that we're going to even be able to compete. This is my time to do something special.